I am Dr. D. Jayakudi, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Commerce, Aralmigu Palani and our Arts College for Women, Palani. Today, we are going to discuss about very interesting topic that is an important part of the research, that is research process. Before going to the topic, you should know what is research. The word research comes from two words that is re and search. Re means again and it again and search means looking for something. The simple definition for research is finding answer to a question or finding solution to a problem. If you have a problem, you are finding solution to the problem that is called research. Now we can see what is a research process. Research process consists of series of actions or steps necessary to effectively carry out a research. Simply research process means from the beginning of the research till the end that is you are starting a journey till the end what is happening it is called research process the steps of the research process is define the research problem review of the literature you have to formulate the hypothesis research design collection of data analysis of data interpretation and report writing the first step is formulating the research problem in every research the first and foremost steps in research process is formulating the research problem formulating the research problem is nothing but identifying the research problem to conduct the research there should be a problem what is a problem a problem means at present there is no solution or it is a question there is no answer at the present through research you are trying to find a answer or you are trying to find a solution for that that is to identify the problem that he or she wants to study now the area of interest our aspect of a subject matter is identified and there are two essential steps involved in formulating the research problem. The two steps in formulating the research problem is understanding the problem thoroughly and rephrasing the same into meaningful terms from an analytical point of view. The next step is review of literature. Once the problem is defined, a brief summary of it should be written down. It is compulsory for a research worker writing a thesis for a PhD degree to write a synopsis of topic and submit it to necessary committee of or the research board for approval. Review of literature means you are collecting knowledge that is different knowledges from the books, from the libraries, from the magazines, from the articles, from internet is used to collect the information. Review of literature it is the examination of available literature related with the research problem. Critical review of relevant literature are made to present the documentation of the existence of the problem and to know how it is manifested, who it affects and involves, what roles and interest the involved actors have the historical background to the problem. The next step is formulating the hypothesis. You have to formulate the hypothesis. What is hypothesis? 
Hypothesis means it is an assumption or expectation or an imagination of the researcher. The person who is doing the research, he is expecting this will be the result. If I conduct this study, this will be my result. It may be right or it may be wrong. But he is expecting the final result will be this one. That is formulating the hypothesis. The role of the hypothesis is to guide the researcher by delimiting the area of the research and to focus the important facts of the problem. What are the functions of the hypothesis? It guides the directions of the study. It identifies facts that are relevant and those that are not. It suggests which form of research design is likely to be most appropriate. It provides a framework for organizing the conclusions of the result. The next step is selecting a research design or preparing the research design. You have to select the research design. What is a research design? Research design means the overall design of the researcher to conduct the research. In research process, research design may be grouped into four categories. One is exploration research design, description, diagnosis and the experimentation. The next step is sample Determining the sample design. A sample design is a definite plan determined before any data are actually collected for obtaining a sample from a given population. Sample designing are done before the commencement of the data collection. To obtain a sample from the given population, it is a definite plan. Determine to select the sample before any data are actually collected. This is also called as pilot surveys or pilot study. The samples can be either probability samples or non-probability samples. The probability sample are those which each element has no has a known probability of being included in the sample the examples of probability samples are simple random sampling systematic sampling stratified sampling cluster or area sampling the types of non probability samplings are convenience sampling judgment sampling quota sampling the next step is collection of data or data collection. The actual study begins with the collection of data. The collection of data is a critical step in providing the information needed to answer the research question. Every study includes the collection of some type of data whether it is from the literature or from the subject in order to answer the research question. The collection of data may be done through primary data or secondary data. In primary data, the data can be collected through by observation, personal interview, telephone interview or by mailing of questionnaires or by through schedule. The secondary data, these are the data which already exist. For having the detailed study about this topic, it is necessary to have some of the secondary information. You have to collect the data from books, magazines, journals, websites and newspaper. The next step is data analysis. After the data has been collected, the researcher has the task of analyzing them. The analysis of data requires a number of related operations such as coding, editing, tabulation.
that is creating the raw data through tabulation by chart coding and then drawing statistical inferences the next one is interpretation in this stage hypothesis is compared by testing various statistical tools such as chi square test f test t test any test may be applied depending upon the nature and object of the research hypothesis testing will be will be the result in either accepting or rejecting the hypothesis the last step is report writing finally the research has to prepare the report of what has been done by him writing of a report must be done with great care keeping in view the following points the layout of the research report should be in a proper format starting from the introduction which includes preliminary pages main text and end matter these three will consist of title acknowledgement introduction data analysis finding and conclusions at the end of the report a list of books journals magazines websites etc are consulted during the research work should be given in the bibliography i hope that from this video you have to understand the basics of a research and research process what are the steps in research process thank you